Good morning, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. We've been doing a series here on how to use Google Docs, the basics. Check out the link in the description to find the entire series in a playlist. Uh, but today I paused and decided to make this video as an attempt to answer this question from one of our subscribers. DJ says, hey, I have a quick question. So I'm working on a Google Doc that has several translations on the same topic. I want to print out a flyer and have, let's say, someone be able to have the link to his language only instead of having to go through the table of contents. Is that possible? Thanks in advance. So I don't fully understand this question, DJ. I believe DJ is asking how he has a... So if he prints out a flyer on a certain topic, how would he put a link in so people can go find that same article in their... Uh, in their own language but the part about only instead of having to go through a table of contents I'm not totally sure what he means by that I think he's trying to say just a link to their language um, the you couldn't put a link just to their language because you wouldn't know what language that person m needs unless you're printing that flyer every single time like specifically oh here's the flyer with the link to your language if that was the case you might as well just print the, the article in their language uh, but you can definitely make a link to whatever language they want to read that in. I'll show you a couple ways to do that uh, right now. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to get started answering DJ's question. How do I uh, say I print off a flyer and I want people to have a link to go find this same article or this same information in their own language? How do I do that? Well, first off, let's pretend this is my article in English right here. Topic unrelated, but just an article, just a document I had ready. Let's pretend that this is the English version, and we want on here a link so that people can go and find their, uh, their language. So people can go find the same information in their language okay so i'll show you how to set that up now first step one you need the article in multiple languages so i would need here in google drive i would need multiple copies of this one article or this one file and I could do that by control clicking on the file and choosing make a copy. Okay. And then I would copy and paste or I would write out my translation or use Google Translate or whatever. You would put the translation. So I would call this, change this name right here, call this set to raving fan. Spanish. Yes, I realize this is not Spanish, but I'm not going to take the time to translate. I'm just showing you how to provide the links in your English version or whatever language your, your main language is and provide the links to the other languages. Okay. So first thing, step one, I got to have a Google document for each language I want that translated into. Step two, I need to put a link to these languages on the original document on the, the primary language, whatever that is, we'll call it English in this case, I need to put links to all the other languages on here. So I can do this one of two ways. At the top or bottom, I can add a line that says, find this article in your own language something to that effect. You can word it however you want. And then underneath here, I can provide links to each and every language that I provide this information in. So for example, here I would come to the Spanish version. I would click share. I would make sure that it's set to anyone with the link can get the information. Only people added can open with this link click change, copy the link, 
and, and watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to show you a few different options here on how to accomplish what DJ is trying to do. Okay, so now I've, I've copied this link and I've made sure it's set to anyone with the link can view it. You want to make them viewers, not editors, otherwise they'll be able to edit it. Just viewer. And I can then copy and paste this link right here. Okay, but I would probably, Command Z to undo, I would probably want to instead make a hyperlink that says Spanish. All right, then I highlight the word Spanish, and up here I click this little chain symbol to insert a link right here, and I paste that link. Apply that. That will work if it's a digital copy of it, because if I'm just emailing this article or file to people, then all they have to do is click that Spanish button and it will take them to the uh, Spanish version, okay? So you would click on it, open preview, shows you the article right there, or go like that, it takes you there. They as viewers, would just click this link and it would open. The reason I have to have a second step here is because I'm editing it. I'm the editor of the article, okay? So that's one way. If you're printing this article, that's not gonna work because they can't click on a hyperlink on a piece of paper. So you would have to include the actual link. Now, that big long Google link is not gonna work. That is way too long. Nobody's going to be able to type that in correctly. So here's a couple options to shorten that link. Command Z to undo. Here's a couple options now to shorten that link so that you can put it in a way that people could actually type it out and go there. So when I go to copy this link here, so... So to shorten this, we come to this website called bit.ly. And you need to create an account. If you don't have one, you can do that with a, an email address or a Google account. And now we're just going to make a shorter link. So we click on Create. Then we enter the long URL, Command-V or Control-V. And we click Create. Give this name a title. Give this link a title. And then you can customize the back half. So say this was an article about, I don't know, basketball. You could put Spanish BB for basketball. Okay, whatever you want to type. And then you click Save you now have a more manageable link. You now can copy this link, come back to your English article, and next to Spanish, you could paste this right here. And technically, they don't need to know all this. Okay, the HTTPS, blah, blah, blah. They don't need to know that. If they simply type in bit.ly forward slash Spanish, BB, that will take them to the correct article. Watch. bit.ly forward slash Spanish BB takes me to this article. Okay? So you could go through and create these links for each article in however many languages you have it in. That would be one way. DJ mentioned without having them to go through the table of contents. Not totally sure what he means. I'm assuming he's meaning just like one link instead of all of these different links. So here's another solution. You could, instead of having like a table of contents here with all of the different languages, you could just have one, one little line here that says to view this information in a different language, go to the following 
web address. Okay. And then right here, you could paste the link to a one page table of contents, for lack of a better word, a one page document that takes them to all of the different languages. So like this, for example, you could create a new document, title this multi-language article, whatever your article, basketball, whatever the article's about. I don't know what you're trying to make, okay? And then you could make it say, find your language or choose your language. Maybe you want to, before you do that, maybe you want to have the headline, what the article's called, and then click choose your language and put Spanish, French, Portuguese, these are languages I know, whatever languages you're going to do. I guess I don't know French, but I know Spanish and Portuguese, okay? And then you would simply, just like before, create that short URL. So pretend this is the Spanish article, copy and paste this link, come into bit.ly, create a new link, Create, customize it if I want, and then copy this link. All right, then just put Spanish right here. Again, I would erase the HTTPS at the front so that they could easily type that in. And I would hyperlink it so they can just click on it. So you hyperlink it again by selecting the words you want to hyperlink, click the chain, Add the paste button, click apply. Now you have a hyperlink. They can just click on this if it's a digital file. All right. Now that you've created this, this menu for them to come and go to whatever language they want, you would then get the link to this menu. Click share. Change the settings to anyone on the internet with the link can view it. Make sure they're just viewers. Copy that link. Now I'm going to shorten it in bit.ly. Create, paste the long link. Click create. Multi-language menu, I'll title it. And then I'll customize the back end to be called languages. languages and then I'll click save languages is obviously already taken change it to language menu click save also already taken you're gonna have to find something that's not taken okay there we go name 2022 is not taken copy that come over to my English version Paste it. Again, remove the HTTPS. I would also hyperlink it with the chain. Apply. There you go. Now you print that article. They can type in that name. That will take them to the menu. The menu will have links to all of the different languages, and they can click on those or type them into their browser and go to each individual language. Okay? That's the best way I can think of to do what you're trying to do. Uh, you could also use a QR code. So this one link right here, you could turn that into a QR code. I, I don't. QR codes are kind of cool, but I don't think people use them a ton. But um, you could, it depends on the, the type of person. But you could print a QR code. And I believe there's free QR makers if you just search QR 
code generator. You come to one of these QR code generators. You could enter the URL there. And then over here, it created the QR code. You would then download this QR code. It's going to make me sign up. So post a question if you want me to go into more detail on this, but you would download this QR code and you would insert that image here instead or also, and then they'd have a QR code. Like let's just uh, give you a quick example. I can't do it quick, sorry. Then they'd have a QR code right here, just an image that they could scan with their phone, and it would take them right to your page where they can get the different languages. So DJ, I hope that answers your questions. I hope someone else found this useful. Post any questions that you have, and uh, remember to subscribe to Teach Mom How, because you can learn to do anything. Thanks.